good fam it's your other brother adam get bags all right today we're going to be downloading and installing anaconda navigator so we can get a graphical user interface behind our python all right so go ahead pop open google here search anaconda navigator download all right here we are you can change your operating system here go ahead hit that download that's going to go ahead download for you no problem and pop open the setup from your downloads folder no problem easy business all right aggressively click through everything all right and you can specify the destination for the download there so default is fine and then here with your path environment um, if you want to set it you can but you can just run the default and this is going to allow um, the computer to know that this is your default python environment so go ahead click through there that's going to do its install magic wizard and while we're waiting we can go ahead and take a look at some financial resources here that I like to look at so first off bar chart definitely solid free charting software um, so they do the charts and they also do uh, some interesting stuff interesting search queries that you can put in here So here we have like an unusual options volume. Um, some cool stuff you can do if you're familiar with data scraping. So you can build out some cool tools here. Um, of course, stock charts. You know, if you're outside of your brokerage account, then you can just pop into these while you're just online if you don't have that open or whatnot. They got pretty robust charting here. So a lot of customization available. DD. So you're definitely going to want to read through this if you're going to be trading options, especially if you're a noob and you got to know what's going on. You've got to have some awareness of how these products work. So this is a great place to start. Um, a little bit dry, but trust me, you read this, you understand it. Um, it's going to be a great resource for you. You can just download it right here. All right, great. Next, of course, Tasty Trade. Uh, these guys big financial literacy lots of good learning resources here so you can always just come in when you miss me and uh, start learning more about options there uh, they got a big team and they've been around for a while so super awesome okay fred fred's my homie this is the federal reserve economic data series here that you can just go through familiarize yourself with some macroeconomic um, indicators and other metrics so real exciting stuff lots of good stuff going on here with our good friend Fred Central. They have a volatility, volatility curve here for the VIX futures. So if you're going to be trading some volatility, definitely you're going to want to have this bookmarked. All right. Looks like we're still going. It's almost there, guys. I promise. We're going, we're going, we're going. Let's see what other fun stuff. Oh yeah. So the CME group, uh, we'll, we'll move on right here. They got charts too, um, but really helpful from the CME group is the contract specifications. So if you're gonna be trading FOP or future options or futures, definitely wanna come in here and check out your contract specs, um, trading hours, all that good stuff. Okay, so let's proceed here. We're just gonna go ahead and run that. Um, these are just some of the resources I like to use, guys at your own disposal all right so here we come to our bar you can type in anaconda here and directly open it by clicking here or you can open up the anaconda prompt and you should be able to uh, open it by issuing the anaconda dash navigator and then that'll go ahead 
open that for you. And this is the Anaconda prompt, not the command line. So don't get those confused. All right. And Jupyter Notebook is very popular, but Spider is also a um, nice graphical user interface for you. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pop that open. Just make sure that everything looks good. Everything's working. All right. So here we are. Um, here's your script editor. So you can write a script here. It'll hold it. Here's your variable explorer. I'm going to go ahead and run that. It stores our variables here. Um, and then you have the command line over here. So like we're up and running that was easy fam 